one. Hello everybody, Horfade here, and welcome back to Penumbra Overture. <coughs> uh, the game did not save here. I had to uh, sneak my way past, so I guess I'm not hurt this time. Um, and uh, last time we went deeper into the mines. And we now have someone talking to us on the radio. Um, which is certainly something. Still clutching, still looking for what? Arm lights of metal jutting off from the earth. I have to portal, a hole, a door, unfamiliar text. Where are these figures huddled around? What secrets are hidden behind the faces of men? As if I'm leaving my body for just a moment, but not just hovering around. It's like I go someplace far, these things. <clears throat> so, yeah, oh boy. Anyway, I always start these parts with some reading. Well, not always, but. The dust substance continues to defy identification. Both chemical and xeno investigations fail to produce meaningful results. Testing continues. Test 102. Bromine test, normal pH 5. Test 103. Acid ME test, negative. Test 104. Ammonia, NH3, negative, unreactive. Test 105. Acid solution, negative for sulfate, sulfide, and chloride ions. Test 106. Standard hallucinogenics, mild intoxicant. Test abandoned due to most test subjects mastering test subjects suffering massive internal hemorrhaging within one to two hours. <clears throat> test 107. Positive and negative metal cations incomplete. Test 108. Human hallucinations, what the fuck was that noise? Incomplete. Testing of the gas is fog has been considerably more successful. Appears to be a harmless but sulfur, chlorine, and an aromatic amine, I don't know. which gives it the floating visual effect. Please note that harmless here is used in the xenochemic sense. It's harmless insofar as we have identified it. And so we could take the net very safety measures. If directly ingested, it would naturally be lethal. <coughs> Test 159. Potassium dioxide paper positive for sulfur. Test 161, litmus test, negative for chlorine. Litmus test, litmus test. Uh, I don't remember what the litmus test was. Is. Test 301, hydrochloric acid was to positive for aromatic ionine. <clears throat> We're continuing on the issue, transforming the substance so far. Moving it from the dormant location, changed its base state to radically change, reducing mass of heat. Two deserts and three workers, one of whom is no longer operational due to his injuries. Oh, I hate dissipation. The substance appears to every day. Oh, God. And reacted to every test we have the equipment to run. Reviewing theories that somehow disruption of material caused it to enter hugely accelerated chemical decay. We estimate its half life to be approximately 0.4 seconds. Um, interesting. I, I've realized that um, I had my doctor's appointment today, and um, what? What the fuck? And now I'm my own skin. I don't know where that is coming from. Don't think to get closer to find out. Shit. What, um... Holy shit, what the fuck. Yeah, I had my doctor's appointment today, and, um... I realized that the, these videos will not be... The first two parts will not be uploaded until tomorrow. Um, that's for sure, and I don't know when these parts 3 and 4 will be uploaded. Uh, so you won't see any of this on 20 until, uh, the 20th of July, at the very least. I don't know where this is coming from, I don't think getting closer to find out.
this. Come on. You saw nothing. Here. 
auxiliary shaft, yeah, forward and then left, and then take a right. I'm with her in the darkness, screaming, begging. Still, Father looks on. Is he bringing this? Father, what have you done? Oh my god. It's all something that time died in the go for. It. Sure, it's always been there. A small piece of me is still trapped inside the artifact. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, yeah, God damn. Power's on, but nothing else is on my pond. Mine machine I need ignition key. Great. Great. Just great. More problems. Team B's new assignment, which I will be overseeing. Women has arrived and digging should be able to commence within the next few hours. Since the incident leading to the establishment of our facility here, as much work has been undertaken in order to ascertain the scope of the discovery, this site, among others, was selected for many possible candidates thanks to powerful divination techniques passed down for many generations among the elevated caste. And I feel certain that this wisdom, in combination with their own seismic techniques, would be a great success. Our discoveries will be of great importance to the organization. Best of luck, everyone. Phase one. While work has been slow up until now, the new year is sure to bring with it great prosperity for our team. Perhaps we shall enjoy some of the luck that the other teams seem to be already be harvesting. Further routine work reports will be found in the secondary log. Phase two seven five. While the routine log has been filled many times over during the past nine moons, there has been so little of interest to report that I find my previously enthusiastic entries to appear as if written by someone else entirely. These logs are not for personal thought, but since no one is ever likely to read them, I'm probably safe in saying that I sometimes kept myself wishing I never received this assignment at all. It was still stationed at the main facility. We discovered tell system today running through the roof of the cave, which caused a minor rock slide, but no serious injuries were sustained. More the more's the pity. Perhaps if the place became a hazard, we would all be your sign. The noise in the mine and I are beginning to play with my mind. 
That's when you can tell what time of day it is. Phase 341. Although I have now been in charge of Site B for two cycles, this marks the first entry in my excavation log as a new chief attendant chemist. Looking through the scarce results file for the initial year's work, I can see why my predecessor was replaced. In a fraction of that time, I have achieved TB, Team B's first major breakthrough in the discovery of previously unknown substance in 63. <coughs> and the research team has been assigned tasks in record time. I fully expect complete identification of the substance to be available within seven phases. Furthermore, I have conducted an investigation into noises reported by workers in the area of the mine. In the interest of morale, on nights I spent here, there do appear to be strange human like cries coming from somewhere deep in the rocks. There's bound to be some explanation. Phase 6. Following the discovery of Sub 63, my team has been second triumphant in the unearthing of Artifact 66B. My team and I will, of course, dealing with this finding with our usual level of efficiency. Phase 7. The cast has seen fit to bring in a Xeno team in order to further extract the true nature of the artifact. I pull out their foresight in this decision and would only note that if then given the chance, my chemistry team would have performed at least a dwell in this task. Additional notes I have completed by analysis of the wailing and chattering sounds reported by those spending large amount of times in the locale. Include that as a symptom of dehydration. Lack of water has caused very mild hallucination, which combined with quite natural seismic activity can sound a little like human voices. A thorough medical examination of the afflicted worker has been recommended. But in the interest of continuing to work at maximum capacity, I am said ordered to increase water supplies and implement an obligatory three minute water break once every five hours. Phase nine. It came to my attention today that this is this the job of mapping the overhead tunnel system in this cave is long overdue. Something overlooked from way back during the first stage of the excavation. Sadly, before my arrival, for otherwise it would have already been completed. The new officer in charge of the Xeno team is increasingly becoming an obstacle to my own team's research. He insists on overseeing perfectly routine tasks, which, given the de defecation defic of a second in command yesterday, I suggest his time is better spent taking control of his own responsibilities. At heart, however, I believe him to be a thoroughly devoted follower, which is why I'm certain that he would leap at the chance to volunteer for surveying a tunnel system. I try warning him of the potential hazards, but he simply will not take up no for an answer, and ask that I am sure those higher up will understand his enthusiasm. Phase 18. The most disheartening turn, the Chief Xeno Officer has not turned from its brave exploration of the tunnel system. Phase 24. In days since the Chief Xeno Officer's full heart of trespass against the tunnel system, it now appears to make up for the domain of various aggressive local fauna, sacred so have become increasingly hostile. Of entering into the excavation site on more than one location, this is something the child could even call Scion. Phase 50. This will be the final entry into the log for excavation site B. Events that force us to curtail our work. We have taken more than one casualty to the organisms living above this cave system, leaving us no choice but to carry what equipment and documentation we have, abandoning all else. The attacks have developed a discernible pattern. While we are due another in only a few minutes, so I must hurry. It's ironic. The noise that have been reported since the initiation of the project are still present, except that now they sound more like laughter. Ugh. That's creepy. Creepy as hell. Okay. Um. Alright, that note was there, but let's actually speed up until I figure out what I need to do.
building store was pretty high up. But, oh, interesting. I need to get out of here. Oh, fuck. Oh, hell yeah, no. Oh, fuck this. Oh, hell no. Oh, I hate this. We went from one hell to another. We're paying bargain in our family. Parfing through my eyes. Come on, come on. 
There should be some insect repellent in that red and white cross box in that room. Just in case those spiders found your flesh delicious. How do my brain flesh and all your fluids are leaking? Because the red tricked you! <laughs> Spidery tunnel was far from a necessary evil. More so, it served as a well-deserved punishment. You thought my mind had been lost to the ravages of time, but poetic justice has struck with Fuck a solid and an eight-legged baptism of fire. With justice now served cold, I hope that we can be good friends. Now reclaim the key and go, go, choose. And find a way to the mining monster. Mining monster? Go, go, Juice, yeah. Whatever the fuck that means. Oh my god. Since uh, most of this part's been sped up or cut out, it was me trying to figure out what to do, uh, we're gonna continue on for longer. People have seen something of a religious revelation. The Khalid and Inuit in general might be said to have seen the error of our ways. Christianity has become increasingly embraced throughout the Arctic communities. It is the purpose of this paper to explore truths of our long held beliefs to cover how they might be justified today. Our new first in our new found alignment as such, the essay will be the first I've written in English post to our native Kalalik. I don't know how to pronounce that. Animate. It's no coincidence that the word anim. I don't know what that word is. I don't know what that word is. Bears resemblance to the English word angel. Oh, interesting. The animate are the Inuit equivalent of the soul, an undying entity released in the death of its worldly body. This concept, however, is obviously well grounded in decent Christian belief. However, previous thought has been blasphemous to the extent that souls are attributed to all beings, man or beast. To claim such a thing would be to imply that the killing of a beast for food is the same as the murder of a fellow man. Such a belief cannot simply be how I supply as anyway. Tomb gate. Blessing speak a disembodied spirit to malicious in nature, sabotaging tools, turning hunts bad, and at times even possessing the weak or unfortunate. A tomb gate. I don't know how to pronounce that appears to have no recognized or agreed origin, both in terms of the legend itself and the individual being causing great doubt to be entirely justifiable. And we, in our Christian foresight, really believe in possession to an evil spirit. It seems perfectly clear to this writer that the real origin of the Tungit belief lives in the Christian demon. For as we th are taught by the generous and selfish Moravian church, without whose support our people would no doubt start many years ago, the demon is capable of possession and of countless other atrocities. It's only the good Christian man can avoid their lifetime humility and devotion. I don't know how to pronounce that. With the concluding treats about the states of the cherished, again, don't know how to pronounce that, the tribe shaman should be obvious. Such people are in league with the Tunga demons, working side by side to control and contain the Kali people. We have no need for such superstition and suspicion breeding people in our Christian ways. The Protestant priests can perform all the, I don't know how to pronounce that, duties and more besides. God. I don't challenge a work such as this should be to find the nature of the Christian God and to ask why he has not been present for many years of Inuit belief. Until recent, recently, the Inuit people wrongly attributed to Animan, I don't know how to 
pronounce that again, almost got like stats in certain cases, and treated the Tungay as devil in canon. It is no major leap of faith to suggest that such beliefs have been underpinned by a central concern. There has been something missing in human life. That something is indubitably God. I hope that my findings are informed in light of the aesthetic view that remain the atheistic view that remain in the human culture and ask the Lord Jesus Christ to be souls. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, time to mess with stuff that I shouldn't be messing with. past that game. God damn it. Yeah, okay, Steam. Stop being a dick. Okay.
just need to find a key, but where? Cocoa juice is a gas. Where is that key? Does that light always flicker? I don't like how the music is picked up either. I don't like it. I don't remember if that light was always flickering. Oh no. I'm getting worried now. Goddamn music. I just need to find the map to figure out where the fuck to go.
has a fucking go at all. God damn it. What a pain in my ass to get here. Okay, we made it, we made it, we made it. 
Oh my goodness, we made it. Jeez. Oh, finally fucking made it. I'd say drink, you thirsty beast. You seek to find the truth behind all this mystery and think it will set you free. But truth is relative, and relatives can't be trusted to bring good gifts. What you seek lies in the shafts beyond this collapsing of the sky, and if you look closely, so do I. A century of days has passed since I saw this area last. The disease once sought to kill poor men, but I took them on a wild poultry chase. They ain't dead. They came from out the big metal door, but after all my years, I knew the game. so strange now to have been guided like a blind man by a faceless stranger whose sanity was clearly waning. In disposition unknown. For all I knew, this red didn't even have a disposition to speak of just a seething mass of conflicting emotions. I knew that my radio reliant friend must have come nearby, and perhaps in finding him, I found myself one step closer to understanding what was going on. In just a couple of hours, I would find what I was looking for, and with it would come answers. I didn't realize that at the time, but the answers I found would be for questions I hadn't even asked. Okay. So I've been recording for an hour and 18 minutes, like longer than I initially intended to. Um, I think I'm going to end here. Maybe uh, because in editing this is going to be cut down a lot because I wasted so much time trying to figure out what to do and where to go and everything. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe you guys, it'll be like a 40 minute part, half an hour, I don't know. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next part. Where we will continue on now that we made certain progress. Oh my goodness. Once we got that machine where it felt fucking good. But oh my goodness. What a pain to figure out. Oh my god. Those the, those dogs were relentless. Hi. Uh, Jeez. Hey,